Let's try it again. Hi, welcome to nine o'clock, boys. What are we? <laughs> cool. Are we waiting on pilot? No, you're supposed to do the introduction. Oh, we did. Welcome back to the Clock Boys. Did a post yesterday about a cafe racer build or pulling a moped out of storage and building a vintage moped. It was a 50 50 split. I'm doing the mopeds. I've got three in storage. The goal is this weekend to get two out of the three running. This is actually not one of them. This is a barn find. I traded a 30 case of bush where my heavy boy's at for this old Indian moped. But I've got three others I'm gonna pull out. And the goal is, yeah, two out of three running this weekend. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Tracy's shop and ponder, start wrenching. I just realized uh, that last little series of shots makes it look like I have mopeds all over the place at my storage, neighbor's storage, my room, my garage. So that's legitimate. That's why I have mopeds everywhere. You can see the one that I just filmed on right whoop, there. Uh, there's another one right there in that pile. Uh, this is one Matt is supposed to go pick up, but that is not a moped, that's a KE100. But check this out. So I'm about to go rob parts because I know I've got a flat tire and I've got a bad fuel filter on one of the mopeds I'm working on today. So I'm going to show you my old garage. I bought the house next door. This is the room I used to live in, which is going to be condemned soon. But yeah, there's another moped. And just wait till you see this mess. More mopeds in a box. Legitimately have mopeds everywhere. Red and black one, which is the coolest one out of all three. I spent the most time working on that one throughout the years. I've had that thing for about a decade um, and have gone through that thing top to bottom. Uh, that one has always been a really reliable moped, which mopeds are not known for being reliable. They're just supposed to be a little around town bikes, not to cover like long distance drives. Um, so that one, um, I decided to rip the engine off and put a new top end from a 50cc that goes about 35 reliably to a 74cc and goes to about 46 miles an hour um, and I was maybe 20 miles into breaking that in and ripping it and it seized on me and I skid about 40 feet in front of my house. How could I have been so careless? Um, so I've got a pull, that's a soft seize, so hopefully it's a pretty quick fix. Um, yeah, we'll go through that one. And then the blue one, uh, that one I bought, um, I don't know, maybe nine years ago, about a year after I had that red one. Uh, that one's always been a pretty strong runner too. Uh, it never idled. Um, I was riding it home from the bike shop and it popped the front tire and um, so now that we're gonna go ahead and rip into it, might as well try and figure out why it doesn't idle. I think that's the point. So I think the timing is a little bit off. Um, so at lower RPMs, it just doesn't throw that spark at the right time. So it just doesn't want to idle perfectly. Um, and then the last one is that Silver Columbia. That one was a barn find also in, no, that one is in can 
Kansas. I got that for 50 bucks. I got two for 100. That was the one that new spark plug, new fuel line, new filters, fire dried up. Um, awesome deal, never had a problem with it. But I think a little bit of water got into the gas tank. So that's the next, um, the next challenge is to flush the gas, new fuel filter, new spark plug, and see if that thing will fire up. I assume that's what it is, just because when I drain the gas, there's a little bit of that oil and vinegar look to it. Um, so yeah, I'm heading out to Chase's right now in Ponder. I'm gonna go use his shop for the day, and then the goal is two out of three mopeds running. the engine um, I was hoping it was a soft seize which means I didn't blow the cylinder rings but I will show you that is definitely not a soft seize it is completely blown that o-ring or that piston ring right there and it's your fault Uh, this one got to order new parts for that one got to order new parts for that one could run and it did start but those front forks the bushings are blown out it is gonna be dangerous so one of three the goal is two of three today we got one running not so bad not so bad <laughs> not, 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 not so bad not so bad <laughs> 